Good afternoon, Cup of Joy family. It's great to have you back. My name is Christine. For those of you who don't know, those new, welcome. It's great to have you here. Those returning, welcome back. I hope you guys are ready for today's word. This one is specifically for the ladies, but if you are a gentleman, feel free to listen. You can share this with another sister. You can share this with any other woman that you know, because it is still something beneficial to know, but the message is directly towards his daughters today. So we're going to get started with a uh, prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for the opportunity to be your vessel today. Not just today, but every day, Lord. God, I am here and I pray that those who are watching have the eyes to see, the ears to hear, and the heart open to receive this message today, Lord. God, I pray that you take my ego out of this. I pray that you just take over this whole platform. This is for you, not for me. The word is... The word is from you, and I want people to know this. I want people to feel this. I want people to feel your spirit, Lord. God, I thank you, and I praise you, and I say this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, so we are going to the book of Judges today. We're going to chapter 5, verses 1 through 5, and this is the NIV version. So it's, so it's titled, The Song of Deborah. And those of you who don't know this, Deborah is a very strong, she is a very courageous woman. If you read the book of Judges, you will find out how courageous she really is. And it's something many of us need to be reminded of, of how we are supposed to be. So, back to the scripture. So, not even sorry. I was about to apologize, but not even sorry. It's something he's just putting in my spirit to, to share. So to the scripture, starting with verse 1, it says, On that day, Deborah and Barak, son of Abinon, sang this song. When the princes in Israel take the lead, when the people willingly offer themselves, praise the Lord. Hear this, you kings, listen, you rulers. I, even I, will sing to the Lord. I will praise the Lord, the God of Israel, in song. When you... Lord went out from Sayer, Sayer. When you marched from the land of Edom, the earth shook, the heavens poured, the clouds poured down water, the mountains quaked before the Lord, the one of Sinai, before the Lord, the God of Israel. If I messed up any of those names, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so to what he... Have me write down. I'm going to read word for word. He said, my child, write this, write this down to share. My precious daughters, this is for you. Let down your guard. Let down that wall and hand over your burdens. Hand over your cries of anxiety and lowlessness. My beautiful queens, you, yes, you, are royalty. And you need to hold your heads high despite some setbacks that were thrown your way. My daughter writing, this is for you. Let down your heart, meaning stop holding it so high. Others and I can't reach it. Allow yourself to receive love and it will be given. My children, help awaits. But I need you to be strong, courageous like my daughter Deborah. Blessings are here, but are you going to close the box just because it requires some assembling? Trust in me. Give up your hearts. To me, my precious, sweet daughters, allow me to restore them. Allow me to restore your faith. Allow me to help restore your life. Abba Yahweh. You have me draw a heart. And you have me put a crown on top of the heart. And he says crown of a queen for you and then another heart and he wants me to title this message hashtag restore and the part where he's he he said my daughter writing this he's saying that there's he, he mentioned to me and being authentic and real it's not just for me as i was writing it but he said that there's other daughters on here who do take notes, who do write this down. So those who were writing along, those taking notes, this is also for you. 
and he means it. It's not, it's not just for me, it's for you as well. So we need to allow ourselves to be loved. And it's not always easy, especially if you've had to grown up with your guard up, especially if you have been let down so many times in the past. Because when we follow God, he comes through on so many levels, on supernatural levels, he comes through and he means it. He's sincere. He is the definition of loyalty. And when I was reading the scripture, what stuck out to me the most is where, oh, where was it? Let me, I want to read exactly what it was that stuck out. Okay, so verse 2, where it says, When the princes in Israel take the lead, when the people willingly offer themselves, praise the Lord. So I'm going to do this right now. And those taking notes, you can do this too. And in fact, I highly recommend it. I want you to highlight where it says, when the people willingly offer themselves, praise the Lord. And this part, you know, even my brothers who are watching, just, just to watch, just to, to learn who have that open mind. When we offer ourselves wholly, so, so with, with W, our, our entire being to our Lord, to our Savior, to, to Jesus Christ in Nazareth, when we offer ourselves to Him, because he, he sacrificed his entire being. So when we offer ourselves to him, he will be able to transform our entire life from the inside out. He will be able to take care of your health. He will be able to heal you. He will be able to give you that glow up, which many of you need. Many of you need, including myself. I'm in the process of that glow up. So anyway... We need to hold our heads high, even when we don't always feel the most confident. Even when we don't always feel like we're going through the best situation. We need to remain sitting up straight, shoulders back, head high. Because he's with us at all the time, at all times. Even when we may feel lonely, even when we even when we feel anxious even when we feel like no one's there to help us through anything he is always there and something that clicked as i was reading this as i was speaking with him before recording is that even when we feel like no one's here or when when we may feel lonely because we're in that transition season we're in that season of building we're not always going to be around the right people we're going to be starting to go out of the people who we used to hang with and we're still waiting for the right people to show up that he wants us to be around yes we'll still be around people but there, there's still that something where you may not feel entirely there yet but it's because when you're building you're focused on him and as long as he is with you and you continue to acknowledge his presence you're not alone you're not lonely when he is absent from your life, that is when you are alone. That is when you are lonely. That is the definition of hell. Literally, that, that's all it is. Yes, there's a, a lot of other stuff we hear about hell, but it's the absence of God. And we have that choice here now. Or are you going to live in that hell state of mind or are you going to live in that heaven state of mind? Because no, we're not of this world. We're not from this world. But our spirit is from the Lord. And he is way outside of what we of what we see. And so we need to take that step back. And we need to allow him to do that work within us. And when we set that example, people will see. And then people will want to follow. And Deborah is a great leader. 
And that's what he calls us to be, is leaders. That comes with leaving things behind. That comes with leaving that baggage behind. And being a leader, there's a lot of responsibility. Following Christ comes with a lot of responsibility to truly follow him. We can't just live our life just freely however we want. We have to be obedient to what he needs us and what he wants us to do for him. We need to be servants of him, including servants of others, meaning our husbands, those who are married. We are supposed to, the, the wife Wife, not girlfriend, wife, is supposed to serve her husband. Just as the husband serves the Lord, just as the Lord serves the church. I think I got that right. But the wife is supposed to serve her husband. So, what he wants me to bring this around that the, the biggest thing is just to, to give it up unto him. Everything. And he's going to restore your heart. He's going to restore your health. He's going to restore your mindsets. Many of you may be thinking pessimistic. Many of you may be thinking in the mindset of doubt, in the mindset of lack. But when you give it up and you let him do his work, you're not going to be stuck in that mindset. I can testify to that. From how I used to think to now, yes, it creeps back every once in a while. But that's when you just cast it out and you say, no, 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 no. I'm better than that. No, 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 no. I got, I got God on my side. Or before, I didn't. Or before, I should say, because he was always with us, but before, I didn't allow him to do that work. I was rejecting him. At that time knowingly and unknowingly so not anymore but now today I give it up to you Lord I give it up to you Jesus so I'm gonna take a moment and if you are feeling in your heart that anxious feeling that that feeling of loneliness that feeling of I just need Help. I have so much love that I want to pour out onto other people, but yet I don't always re feel like I receive that love. If you're feeling like that, I want you to close your eyes. I'm going to do this with you. Lord, I'm calling on you today. My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm calling to you to give up my burdens, to give up my anxiety, to give up my stress, to give up my doubting thoughts, to give up my thoughts of perversion, to give up my thoughts of lack, to give up my thoughts of gluttony, to give up my thoughts of Many things that go against you and what you want for us. And I just hand it all to you, Lord. I hand it all to you. And I'm giving you my heart today to transform. I'm giving you my thoughts today to transform. I'm giving you my body today to transform. I'm giving you my entire being today, Lord. Because if, as I've been sitting here being selfish, thinking that I can do it, thinking I just, I just need one more thing or one more day or one more minute. You are God who performs miracles. And I've been selfish thinking that I just need more time when you can change things like that. In the blink of an eye. So Lord, I'm done being selfish. I'm done with the way of living that I was living. I'm done with these with, the, with these addictions. I'm done with these habits. I'm, I'm, I'm just done, Lord. I'm done. I am done. I'm done. 
and I give it up to you to transform, to take. And when that is transformed, I will gladly and openly receive what it is that you have for me. I will gladly and openly receive the love, receive the good health, receive the blessings, receive those convictions because that in turn helps heal who I am, who you created me to be. Lord, I thank you for your restoration. I thank you for your unconditional love. And I praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, I pray that you've gotten something out of this today. If you have, leave a comment. Hashtag restore. Send me an email, a testimony. Your thoughts, just just anything. Your sister in faith is here with you. We can't do this alone. My email is cupofjoyministry2023 at gmail.com. Leave a like. Share this video with other sisters that you know, other, other daughters, other, other friends. Share this. We cannot be quiet about his word. He needs us women to be leaders. He, he needs us sisters in faith to help fix the crowns of other sisters who feel like they don't even have it anymore, but they do. It's just, it's just crooked. We need to fix it. It's our responsibility to lift each other up. Our brothers as well, but this one specifically for our sisters. Let's help each other out. Remember, hashtag restore. I'll see you next time.